yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back again with another video for you guys, this time we're going to be comparing the Meguiar's Ultimate Pace Wax versus the Nano Skin Hydrophobic Nano Carnuba Wax, alright, you know this here is a synthetic plumbers, this is a wax sealant, and this right here is just basically just a plain old carnauba wax. Retail price, both of them run around close to the same price. The Nano Skin was $20 on Amazon. The Meguiar's was like 20 right, right at 20 bucks on Amazon. So both of these waxes will cost you about $40. You know, so um, yeah, both of them is great. So anyway, I got both of these waxes applied to the panel. This is Carnuba Nano Skin is here. The Meguiar's Ultimate Pace is here. And as you can see, it's ready to take off now. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and bump out the Nano Skin. And it comes off really easy like so. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I like Pace Waxes when they're very easy to work with. Now, I will admit, some of these Pace Waxes are extremely hard to work with so that you know you got to be extra careful how you apply them how much you apply at once you're going to want to work like in a two by two section so it won't be so hard to get back off the panel i see a lot of people make that mistake when applying paste waxes they apply so much that you know they have to catch the devil trying to get it back off the panel you know so uh that's why you got to work in little small sections. All right, so now let's move on. We're going to buff off here the Meguiar's Pace Wax. And y'all know, those of you who work with the Meguiar's, y'all know that Meguiar's Pace Wax is very easy coming off the panel as well. Flip that rag over. And that's a good thing that I like about Meguiar's. It's just so easy to work with as well. Good product, and it's a synthetic wax. Typically, the synthetic wax sealant is going to give you longer paint protection than your carnauba wax. So, the difference between these two waxes, the carnauba wax will give you about a good two and a half to three months of protection. But at the same time, the carnauba wax typically gives you more pop and more shine than the synthetic wax does. Now, the Meguiar's Ultimate, on the other hand, is a synthetic wax plumber sealant, which will give you at least six months of protection and give you some shine and gloss, but not high as pop as the Carnauba wax will give you. But it'll last uh, twice as long on your car. You know, you're talking anywhere from four to six months. With this one, you get anywhere from two to four months. So it's a big difference in, in longevity of these two car waxes. Alright, but both of them is easy to, to apply. Both of them is easy to take off the panel. That's why I like the Nano Skin and this Meguiar so good. It's because they are so easy to work with. Now we're going to be comparing them against other paste waxes, the Nano Skin, and uh, just to see. Alright, let's come back and look at the shine and depth on the panel. As you can see, it's nice and slick. It puts a really good shine down on the panel. Okay, let's check out the Meguiar's over here. Same thing, nice and slick. Puts a good shine on the panel. Let's see which one is slicker. Checking the slick test. And most likely, once you do the slick test, checking out how slick they are, that really will tell you how hydrophobic they are gonna be by just doing the slick test. Now over here, see the slickness. Okay, I'm doing the Meguiar's. The Meguiar's seem a little bit more slicker. So, if the Meguiar's a little slicker, <laughs> I, I'm assuming that it's going to be more hydrophobic. But don't hold me to it. Could be wrong, but it does feel slicker under the microfiber cloth. Alright, now I recommend you use a clay. Clay your car first before you use either one of these type of waxes. You want to make sure you clay bar your car. So take off all embedded contaminants and tree sap and fallouts or whatever. You want to get all that stuff off your paint. So you're going to want to clay the vehicle 
first before you use either one of these. I want to throw that in there so your beginners is watching in, y'all will know that you need to clay your vehicle before you use either either one of these products. All right, so now um, we see the gloss look good from both products. So let's see what the water test look like. Now, if I had a gloss meter, I could tell you which one I'm giving you more pop and more shine, but typically your carnival wax is going to give you more pop and more shine anyway. That's a known fact. All right, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to spray a little water just to see the hydrophobicity of these two products. And we're going to start off with the Nano Skin Hydrophobic. All right, here we go. And you see that that stuff is very, very, very hydrophobic. See that? Very hydrophobic. I would say it's a well spent 20 bucks. If you live out in places like Hawaii, um, Southern California, places where it stay pretty mild and humid most of the time, and from my understanding, Hawaii gets a lot of rain, Southern Florida and places. You're going to want to invest in this nano skin hydrophobic. I'll say it give you at least three months of protection. And it's very hydrophobic. You can reapply it again in two, three months. It's very easy to work with. Alright. And give you a big size can as well. See how hydrophobic this stuff is? Okay. So that, that's the nano skin hydrophobic. Let's move over here to the Meguiar's Ultimate Pace. All right, they running pretty neck and neck for as hydrophobicness. As you can see, um, the Meguiar's Ultimate Pace is very hydrophobic as well. That's one of my favorite car waxes is this. And it's very hydrophobic as well. Now, the Nano Skin is hanging in there with it. I'm glad I bought the product because... Both of them is really giving impressive beating action. But the only thing that sures me is that the Meguiar's is going to last you longer. Being a synthetic. But the hydrophobicity of these products are similar. Alright, here's the Meguiar's Ultimate Pace. Let's bounce back over here to the Nano Skin Hydrophobic. As you can see, the beating action here is amazing as well. Coming from the Nano Skin Hydrophobic. And, um, hell man, I mean, it's, <laughs> they're both are amazing products, as you can see. And what, not only the beating action is good from both products, I really like these two products. One of my two favorites now. The Nano Skin is one of my favorite products to use now. The reason why I like it so much, not only that it, it does a great job. I like it a lot because some of the fact they're very 